Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your favorite girl, Kelly Sams. Back to your screens with another video. So, leo nataka tuongelele a very important topic. As you can see from the title, tunongelelea ovulation. Na ovulation inamalinisha ule wakati uneza shika mimba. Ule wakati mwili wako unaeza shika mimba. So, in every month, in every month, kuna kwaga na siku ya ovulation. Most of you hawajui hiyo siku and I have seen most people ask naeza jua ni na ovulate lini ama when can I get a baby? So that is what I want us to talk about today, about ovulation. Nataka ni kuambie wakati uko kwenye unovulate, mwili huwa unajua unovulate. So mwili huwa unakutumia some signs to tell you I'm ovulating. Leo nataka tuongelele hizo signs tujue nilini unaovulate, nilini uneza shika mimba. Umenielewa? Kwa sababu mwili huwa unakomunikate na wewe. When you are ovulating, mwili huwa unajua. Our body imeundwa in a way, wakati kuna kitu lazima itajaribu kukuambia. So wakati kuna ovulate, mwili huwa imejueka in a way that you know, kuna factors ambazo mwili na gundua inaziweka zenye zina necessitate hiyo kushika mimba. So guys, if you haven't subscribed, please, please subscribe. Hapo chini pameandikuwa subscribe, guza hapo, it's free. You are not supposed to pay anything, ata hauta ambio ulipe chochote, just try it now kama kuja subscribe. Touch hapo pameandikuwa subscribe, na utoona imi subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and uh, Let's get to this video. Let's get to this video. I have with me 10 signs. Na ninataka tuende kwa utaratibu. So the first sign, kujua you ovulating, cervical mucus change. Cervical mucus change. You know, kwa kawaida sisi wanawake hukuwa na discharge. Lakini kifika ni wakatu ovulation, discharge yenye umezoea kuona kawaida, discharge huongezeka. Na hii naongelelea after umemaliza periods. After when you, your periods zikiisha, in between now kutoka hapo periods zimeishia, tupale periods kurudi, in between hapo mahali una periods, hapo ndo unafaa uangalia hizi signs. And if it, if it happen, upate maybe eight of these signs, just know that you are ovulating. So, hiyo kitu cha kwanza ni cervical mucus change. Nikisema cervical mucus change na manisha, Ile discharge umeku kiyona kila siku inabadilika. Sasa wakati unovulate, discharge huwa inatoka kama egg white. Ukipasua mayai, wacha hiyo pati ya yellow. Si unonaga hiyo pati ingiri na kama jimaji. Discharge inaanza kutoka hivo. It is clear kama hiyo ya egg white. Alafu huwa inajivuta hivi. Huwa inajivuta. So wakati utoona hiyo discharge, just know that you are ovulating. Kitu cha pili, heightened sense. Heightened cells. Wakati unovulate, sensi yako ya, ya kusmell, ile ya kusmell, huwa inakuwa heightened. So, ata ukapitana na mtu, utasikia ile perfume um, uyo mtu that person is wearing. Yani, harufu tui katoka from nowhere, you will be the first one to notice. Kwa sababu wakati unovulate, kuna kuwa na hiyo heightened smell. Najua umesikia hii kitu, ineza kuja kwa hiyo that one day ama in two days. Alafu, Uskitu hiyo, just know that you are ovulating, ukisikia your heightened smell. So, saini ya tatu, ambayo unajua unovulate, ni matiti. The breast become tender, alafu zinanza, zinakuwa so. Kukua so, ni kule ukiguza, unasikia kuna kauchungu fulani, especially hapo around the nipple. So, wakati unajiguza, uskia kuna some soreness, kuna tenderness. Unajua hiyo time unovulate. So, in between, siyo lazima atisasa ukai ukijiguza guza. Ata wakati unaoga, wakati unavaa, maybe ume, unajilaza mahali, unapumzika, unasikia, eh, ukienda kujilaza on one side, unasikia, there is some soreness. Yeah, unasikia some tenderness. Ukisikia hivo, just know that you are ovulating. Another sign of ovulation is mild pelvic and abdominal pain. So, he ukisikia huku kwa pelvic, Pelvic, so unajua ni hapa chini plus the abdomen, abdomen, your abdomen ni hiyo tumbo ya chini. Ukisikia kuna ka mild pain. Sio severe, tena isikuwa ile severe, ya nyonomu wa sana. No, it's mild. 
usikie tu kuna kapin hapo around your your waist but side ya mbele not unyuma usikie tu kuna ka mild pain just know that you are violating jo kila siku unasikia hiyo ka pain so wakati umekaa tu unasikia hako ka pain kana kuja na ka mild it's not severe see pain mingi it's just a mild pelvic and abdominal pain ukisikia hako ka pain just know that you are violating another sign of ovulation is light spotting or discharge so wakati una ovulate huwa kuna most of sio wote sio wanawake wote lakini kuna wale wanawake huwa wanapata aka spotting aka light spotting sio damu nyingi haifai kuwa damu nyingi it's just spotting kwa panty ukienda kutoa panty unaona light spotting ama wakati unajipanguza kule kwa choo na tishu una notice kuna ka light spotting hako ka light spotting kanatokea kwa sababu an egg mayai ime releaseiwa kutoka kwa ovaries so inakuja kwa fallopian tube in the process of an egg ku releaseiwa huko the movement to the fallopian tube hapo ndani kuna kuwa na ka spotting kanatoka kadamu kadogo kanatoka so not sio wanawake wote who experience hii lakini most women like kuna wanawake ambao hupata hiyo so ukakosa kuipata usidhanie we who ovulate but ukaipata tu hivi ujue you are ovulating another sign of ovulation ni libido changes libido changes libido ni hiyo sexual desire wakati una ovulate kuna kuwa na increased sexual desire libido ina change na kuwa juu kama umezoea we ni mtu tu cool hivi mara unasikia una una hiyo tamaa ya kuengage sexually So wakati unajisikia hivyo just know that you are violating that is a sign of ovulation. So there is libido changes and increased sexual desire. Nimeelewa hapo kwa sababu nilimwambia mtu mwingine about libido akaniambia hajui na maanisha nini? Increased sexual desire. Wakati una ovulate hiyo mwili huwa ina, inataka sana, inataka sex. Inataka sana. So wakati una ovulate the, the sexual desire is always up. Another sign of ovulation ni changes in the cervix. Changes in the cervix. Wewe mwenyewe huwezi ukaiona maana ke cervix si hapa juu. Cervix ni huko ndani kwa womb. Ndio mlango wa womb. Huwezi ukaiona. Lakini ukaenda for an examination pale hospitalini, daktari ata notice pale kwenye cervix kuna some changes. Kitu cha kwanza kina happen ni hiyo cervix inakuwa soft. Alafu kitu kingine the cervix inajiinua juu inakuwa high inakuwa high alafu hiyo line yake inakuwa soft alafu inajifungua ili kama you will have sex hizo sperm zipate njia wakati umetulia tu hivi bila kuengage sexually pale kwa cervix yako huwa kana kamebaki kadogo sana kanajifunga kabisa yenye huwezi ukaiona lakini wakati wa ovulation inajifungua inapea njia ili If you engage sexually the sperm will be able to pass ndio uende upate mimba yani mwili huwa unajicommunicate wenyewe unasema mimi we are ready to get pregnant so unaona so had the cervix yenyewe huwa image prepare the walls huwa zina soften inajiinua kidogo alafu inafunguka so kuna kuwa na changes pale kwa cervix hiyo uwezi ukaiona lakini ukienda pale examination hospitalini that is first thing the doctor will tell you another sign of ovulation ni nausea and had, had headache hiyo siku ikikaribia ya, ya, ya ovulation ama siku yenyewe asubuhi unaamka unasikia unasikia kutapika tu yani umekaa unasikia kutapika tu that is nausea unakaa tu sia tumekula chakula kibaya lakini unasikia mwili tu na you are very nauseated hiyo ni sign of ovulation afu kichwa kuja we si mtu hata huo humu na kichwa ovyo ovyo lakini hiyo siku ikifika tu unasikia you have a mild ama inaweza kuwa mild ama severe headache you know ukisikia hizo just know that you are ovulating another sign of ovulation ni change in basal temperature change in basal temperature kwa kawaida sisi wanadamu temperature yetu hukua 36.5 degrees lakini huwa wakati especially when una time kupata mtoto wakati unasema na time hii this months ovulation nipate mtoto naweza nikakwambia uchukue ile kale kadha moment kadogo kila siku unakaweka unapima hata kama ni ya mdomo asubuhi ukiamka kabla hujaengage na exercises huja kimbia pale huku hujaanza kuosha 
ili temperature ipande maana yake uki engage in exercises so unajua temperature inapanda lakini pale tu umeamka tu hivi asubuhi mwili tu uko cool measure your temperature itakuja 36.5 lakini wakati wa ovulation temperature hupanda juu kidogo temperature hukua juu utapima unotice uta realize the temperature is high wakati huo ovulation temperature huwa inapanda kuliko vile kuliko kile kiwango inafaa kuwa so uki realize hii siku nimeamka na temperature imepanda na siku zingine haijakuwa ikipanda just know that you ovulating your body is ready to carry a baby right and then the last one the 10th one cuz i counted their 10 the last one to know that you ovulating know your cycle know your cycle kila siku unapata mwezi unapata menstruation unapata periods just track your periods na uki track your periods na nowadays kuna watu nimeona wakisema ni trackie periods zangu sio lazima mimi ni kutrackie I would like I would like you to track it for yourself. Kuna apps nyingi online. Nimesikia watu wakipeana hata pale kwa comment section kiwauliza about these apps. Wana store apps. Hata wewe enda u download one of those apps. Fill in dates kutoka ile siku yenye umepata periods. Periods siku yenye inaisha kama ni siku ya 5 ya 6 ya 7 mark hapo itakukauntia ni siku gani uko safe. Itakukauntia ni siku gani uko on ovulation na ile siku uko on ovulation itakwambia we mwenyewe huwa zinakumbusha watu so ikikwambia you on ovulation alafu ukae hivi uone all those nine signs zenye nimekupea hapa juu ziko tick manake kama imekwambia leo leo tuseme ni date 11 ikwambie leo on date 11 you ovulating ukae hii date 11 uangalie kwa hizi signs ambazo nimekupea ni gani iko kama ni temperature iko high yes libido you have an increased sexual desire yes umeona umeona discharge mucus inakaa egg white clear and then it's stretching umeiona yes yani umeona hizi signs zote nimekuwa nikikuambia just know that you are ovulating so it is very important you track your cycle and there is an app to do that sio lazima wewe mwenyewe uende ukakimbizane ukiandika kwa makaratasi siku na siku na siku there is an app nowadays hauchoki inakufanyia kila kitu bora tu uiambie ni siku gani period zimekuja na ni siku gani period imeisha itakukalculatea hadi the next month period zinakuja siku gani so that's it guides kama kuna kitu ujakielewa just put it in the comment section make sure you give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't and also share to your friends share to your friends guys and i'll see you guys on my next video bye